Oh. You think you can stand on it? Sure. Yeah, here, come on. Let me help you out. Oh. You're going to have to let somebody else finish the game for you, son. Oh, don't take me out there. Oh, come on. We'll put some ice on it. We'll fix it up real good. Thanks a lot, Orville. Okay, guys. Let's finish the game now. Who's going to pitch? Uncle Dudley, you said I'm the good pitcher. I can pitch. I'll do it. Maybe we ought to let somebody else pitch. But Uncle Dudley, you said I might get to play in the last comments. All right. Get on out there. Yes, sir. Come on, you guys. and your minds are going to be on other things. But next summer, I want to see every one of you back out here, and we're going to go right back at it again. Yeah. Here, let me help you with that, Kat. You tell your mama we'll see y'all later, yeah? Okay, Uncle Dave. Yes, ma'am. Come eat your lunch and take your bath. You have to be ready to go by one o'clock. Why? 
Because your Aunt Estelle will be here to take us to your appointment. Have you forgotten? Now come on. You have to get ready to go, too. Well, okay, Cass, at the beauty parlor, we're going to get your school supplies. I think uh, maybe we ought to just give a little more time. Maybe she decided to do it on her own. My mama kept me in long curls till I started school. Then I wanted to be just like everybody else. Cass doesn't give a hoot about being like everybody else. None of the other little girls her age have worn pigtails for two years. They're out of style. Well, she's just an individual. What's an individual? Ray Jr., eat your food. An individual. Somebody that's not like everybody else. I had hoped she'd want it herself, but I can't wait any longer. I can't let her start the sixth grade with those pigtails. She's going to look utterly ridiculous. Besides, with Ray Jr. starting to school, I am not going to have time to braid him every morning. Where is she? Estelle's going to be here, and she's not going to be ready. Well, i got to get back to work. Don't forget the catfish. to your sissy. Oh, 
Something's gone off. There's no telling. I have called until my voice is hoarse. She's just out and out to find me. Well, come straight home as soon as the paper's off the press. I will. Where is she? I don't know. It's not like her to go off like this without telling me where she's going. Didn't you know she had a beauty parlor appointment? I've been telling her for two weeks. I am going to be so embarrassed if we don't keep this appointment. Well, let me check outside again. Here. Big bar right there. All of them, too? Yeah. Okay, be fine. That'll be about 10, 11 pounds. All right, go ahead and weigh those up and uh, wrap them up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you're right. Sure will. Yeah, hey, where's the paper? Uh, I just put the bed. Be ready in about an hour. <laughs> you better hurry up. Everything in it is going to be old news by the time we read it. Isn't that right? Look, <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. We've got to go. We'll yeah. see y'all go off. Excellent. Don't get in trouble now. <laughs> how'd the, uh, how'd everything go at the ball game? Great. Well, Kathy got the pitch because already hurt his knee. Kathy got the pitch? Yeah, as a matter of fact, she threw the winning pitch. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, Ray Don children tried to slap one by her and she jumped on it like a little frog. But nothing happened to upset her. Upset her? No. Last time I saw her, she was grinning like a mule eating briars. playing rough with boys. I'd be ashamed of myself acting like that. Get in on your hand. It's all right. Just hold your head back until it stops. I'm going home now. Get in your room. You're not playing outside again today. You may not even play outside next week. She's determined not to get a permanent in her hair, and I'm determined she is. Why don't you give her a Tony? Now that's a good idea. Sarah Ann, have you seen Kathy? No, ma'am. I'm coming to your birthday party tomorrow. I know it. Oh. Sarah Ann Phillips is having a birthday party tomorrow? Yes, and that reminds me, I haven't bought her a present yet. We'll have to go by Henrietta's and tell her what happened. And then we'll go to the drugstore and we'll get their school supplies and presents for Sarah Ann, and then I'll take y'all home. Kathy is going to the birthday party too, isn't she? Maybe Mrs. Phillips invited her and she forgot to tell me.
and you burn the wagon. I need water. Lemonade is what I need. It cost a nickel. They took the gold. This is all that's left. Please, take the marble. It's too late. It's all over. I'm dying. Here. I'm Nancy Drew, and when I grow up, I'm gonna take care of heroes. Nancy Drew is not a nurse, she's a sissy detective. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a hero like Frank Hardy. You can't be on him, he's a boy. Telling me, Mrs. Jeff. Yes, I agree. Nothing is uglier than a little girl fighting. Please let me know if you see her again. She's getting to be as bad as my cousin Shirley. We all just hated her. We didn't want her to play with us or do anything we did. Hey, listen, Kathy's not my pet. Well, as long as you keep encouraging her to play baseball and to build clubhouses and model airplanes. She is not going to know what it is to be a girl. Don't you see that it's just confusing her? What do you think we should do? and I, I'm afraid you, you might hurt yourself on I guess we didn't get it on here too good. Oh, Daddy, I got to pitch in the last game. Yeah, I heard that. Dudley said, uh, said you won the game. I did. I threw the ball in the home and the runner was tagged coming in for third. Now, you know that uh, your mother's real upset because you didn't show up for your beauty product appointment today. What happened? Why'd you do that? I hate curls. They're sissy. Oh, you couldn't be sissy. I don't care what they did to your hair. Sissy's a coward. You're as brave as anybody I know. I don't want to be a girl. Girls don't have any fun. Well, you know, it's not, uh, not always easy being a boy, either. We all got to do things that uh, we don't want to do sometimes. What's really important, sweetie, is 
is what's deep, deep, deep down inside of you, way down inside of you. Nobody can ever take that away from you, ever. I don't care what they do to your head. I don't care if they shave your head. You know, if the world was perfect, nobody would care what you did as long as it didn't hurt anybody. Yeah. Let's go inside and tell your mother you're okay. Stop playing and eat your dinner. Mm -hmm. We also want to Another 27 bounces by the end of the year, and I'm going to win a trip to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> That's real good. Dad, can I go too? Sure, we're all going to go. <laughs> have you finished cash school dressing? Just a hint. You can have those patterns back. Mildred, is there any more where this came from? I made another piece just for you. <laughs> sure is good. What do you think of Truman's chances against Dewey? Not much. He looks like a rag ball! <laughs> <laughs> Ray Junior, get up and leave the table right now. Right now. Go to your room and stay there.
I know you said you were hungry, darling. But I thought you might change your mind. Why don't I just set this here on the chair in case you do? They called me from the Girl Scout Council last week. And they asked me to take over your troop. The first time I told them I didn't have the time. Since I have to get both of you and Ray Jr. ready for school every day. But I, I've been thinking that maybe I could make the time. And give us something that we could do together. I think we could have a lot of fun going camping and roughing it in the woods and, and putting up our tents. Of course, it's going to take a lot of courage to stay out all night in the woods, and you're going to have to help the other girls be brave. And you're going to have to help me, too, because I've never done anything like that. But I'm willing to try if you'll help me. Think about it. And I want you to let me know whether or not you want me to be your leader.